Hey guys, welcome back to Quad Nation, and as you can see, we have a whole new quad in front of you. I welcome to you the Can-Am DS450MX. I imagine this thing is going to be an absolute beast. Currently right now, it does not run. It will not fire up. When the opportunity was presented to me that I may be able to put my hands on this super cool, rare Can-Am 450, I was fully aware that it was not running. And as you know, I love a challenge and I wanted to take the challenge on. Now, it could be an array of things. This quad only has approximately 20 to 30 hours on it. It has only been on the track, it has never been on the trails. How do I know this? Well, the quad has only had two owners, me being the second owner. So I bought it from the original owner. He told me it's been on the track about five times. So given, you know, two, three hours on the track, it, it really has anywhere between 20 to 30 hours. These are the original tires. I mean, everything on it is original, exactly how it came from the factory. You even ask, oh, well, what about the Nerf bars? The Nerf bars are original. Here's what Can-Am did. Check this out. They put a heat shield on the Nerf bars. That's how you know it's legit. It is the real deal. This thing is the most MX equipped quad from the factory. This quad is in fact the pinnacle of sport quads. It is the flagship race quad. Now let's determine what's wrong. He said it's been sitting over a year. When you let Biden ethanol gas sit for too long, it breaks down. It ruins the fuel pump. It ruins fuel injectors. It ruins everything. So now it comes time to troubleshooting. The first thing I always do is I want to check spark. So what I did is I pulled, I've already done this, so I'm just going to go through it really fast. If you buy a quad that does not run, now it cranks over, ready? But nothing, okay? If it doesn't crank over, start with putting a new battery in. Once you have a new battery, if it turns over, but it does not fire up, I always check spark first. Start with the electronics. So, what I did is I pulled the spark plug cap off, I removed the plug, I then took the plug, I insert it back into the spark plug cap, and I ground it out on the pipe, okay, the exhaust header. Take that spark plug, let it sit on the head pipe, okay, and then hit the starter. As you are hitting the starter, look down at the head pipe, and you should see, given that there's a good ground, which it's difficult not to get, it, not to get a good ground when you lay it on the header, check and see if the spark plug has spark or not. In this case, the spark plug did not have spark. I went, grabbed the new plug, put it in, grounded it out on the header. Guess what? Spark. Very strong, very healthy spark. So I said, okay, fingers crossed, maybe that's all it was. Maybe it just needed a spark plug. I put the spark plug in, I hit it, nothing. I'm giving it gas, I'm trying to flood it, I'm doing everything, nothing. So, given that he hasn't gone into the motor, I'm like, surely timing can't be off, anything like that. No, timing, it could have jumped. The chain could have jumped the gear, but it wouldn't be, there would be, the engine would be locking up, it'd be slapping the valves, everything. But just to confirm that I had nothing else going on in the combustion chamber, I went ahead and pulled the spark plug back out, all the way out. I took starting fluid and sprayed it down directly on top of the piston. I put a crap ton in there, okay? Screwed the plug back in, snapped the cap back on, I hit the starter, and after about 10 seconds, pop, 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 it ran for about three, four seconds based on the starting fluid that was able to vaporize in there. So. I knew then I had good timing, I had good strong spark, 
and for the most part on that end of the quad the electronics were working fine okay I was like okay my ECU must be good you know that sort of thing now there could still be other electronics wrong if you know it could be causing the fuel pump not to uh, work stuff like that but I know on that end I was looking good so then I said okay now at this point I need to check the fuel pump and fuel injector so that's pretty much where I'm at now so now that I've caught you up I am going ahead and I want to go ahead and start capturing this on video for you guys I really it wasn't fair that I skipped all that for you guys I'm sorry I should have showed that to you but I was so excited when I picked this thing up I just started getting into it and I was complacent and realized oh my god I've already done all this without capturing it on video for you guys so I'll make it up to you I'm gonna show you the rest I'm going to go ahead at this point what you're gonna see is I'm gonna rip the plastics down I'm gonna take the fuel tank off he did drain as much gas out as he could because it is over a year old so there is a little bit still in there that he couldn't siphon out so I'm gonna pull the tank dump out all that fuel in my neighbor's pond he's liberal so it's okay um, and uh, then what I'm gonna do is I believe I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fuel pump off and I'm gonna check a fuse real quick I'm gonna check the fuel pump fuse I'm gonna see if the volts are reading right because the volts aren't reading right then I know that it's electronic thing and not the fuel pump so I'll show you all that and um, Hopefully we can get to ripping on this thing sooner than later guys, but I hope you love what you see so far. This thing is, to be quite honest, one of the sexiest quads I've ever seen. Might even be sexier than Megatron. <laughs> Boo-hoo Megatron, I'm sorry buddy. my gosh guys <laughs> oh my gosh you guys will not believe the amount of work this wonderful man just saved me so what I was about to do next was I was about to test the voltage for the fuel pump and I could not remember which wires I should attack so I knew what, what obviously what plug, but to stick what probe into what wire. So I just Googled which wires, or I, I Googled essentially how to test voltage on fuel pump. The first video that popped up was kind of irrelevant to that. It was actually talking about the relays on the front of the quad. It said Can-Am DS450 pump fuel pump relay issue so I said hmm let me check this out this guy right here Eric Marquez Eric I want you to see this buddy you saved me so much work Eric Marquez see and it would crank, but it wouldn't turn on. It would crank, so but it wouldn't turn on. I tried to um, pull start it with another quad or a razor. I forget what he did. And it turned on, but then it would turn on. So, I didn't find any videos for this. What he did. He says everything was good. And I was like, ah, oh, that's weird. So I came over here to the so front. So he came over here to the front. And uh, I read on a forum online. It said uh, the to check the fuel pump relay. So the I fuel did. pump relay, guys. As you can see, there's the new one that I installed. So essentially, Eric told me to swap the fan relay to the fuel pump relay and the fuel pump relay to the fan relay. So now my fan won't turn on, but it's okay. I know what's wrong with the quad now because guess what, guys? It fired up. Eric, Eric, brother. Eric, I'm, I'm telling YouTube that they need to push you to a million. Million subscribers, brother. You saved me so much work. And I'll tell you guys why. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate you. Uh, I'll tell you why. In order to replace the fuel pump, I did not expect this from Can-Am because you guys are the best of the 
the best of the best and the engineering on this quad is is phenomenal but in order to replace the fuel pump which is on the back side of the tank right here guess what guys <laughs> you have to take this off because the fuel tank is hanging over it so you can't pull it down and you can't pull it up so the only thing you can do unless you really want to tackle the quad you could take this off up top but it'd be a lot more work but the simplest way to take this tank out would be to remove this guy which oh there's only two bolts there not a big deal but in order to get to this one I would have to take my shock off unless I bought a very thin specialty Torx 30 to slide right between there which good luck on finding that with our supply disaster the, the whole <sighs> Biden you suck all right I'm trying to stay off politics stay off politics keep focused um so I was gonna have to jack the quad up take the shock out have my arm hanging then tackle that just to get the tank out and even though I had already was like well I'm committed I'm doing this I'm gonna show you all thank you Eric Marquez thank you for saving my life today because it was the freaking relay you know why because it just started up now I'm not gonna really do it too long because it's nasty gas in here but you can hear the fuel pump priming as it should boom just like that guys it was the freaking relay now I'll have to buy another relay because I need to get my fan back on this is nuts I cannot cannot believe this guys Eric you are the bomb brother you deserve the utmost praise and respect brother thank you because you could have just kept that information yourself and that's why I do these videos guys is because if you didn't discover Eric's you'll discover mine so we're gonna throw it back together and um yeah and and had I had I did all that I would have taken the reservoir for the coolant off which means I would have the, the, the some of the coolants gonna come out um, the hoses will have air in them I'd have to uh, basically purge that again and it's just something that was gonna take me honestly probably two days just took me ten minutes so I love you man thank you Eric so if your Can-Am does not fire up it just turns over check your relay the one on the right is the fuel pump the one on the left is a fan so I got them both switched right now what I'm about to do right now is piss on that there's a little bit of nasty fuel in the very bottom piss on getting that out I'm going to fill it up I'm gonna slosh it around I'm gonna siphon it out dump it in my liberal neighbor's pond and then I'm gonna put fresh fuel in it again and we should be able we should we should be ready to rock and roll so guys hang tight because this is about to get interesting and it's about to be adrenaline pumping. <laughs> <laughs> 